Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Naughty Threads. Today's video is extremely interesting because I have come up with a unique way of uh, doing these uh, long tassels using pearls. So do watch the video till the end and let me know what you feel about uh, this design in the comment section. It's a very beautiful pattern. Uh, I thought of uh, creating something really unique with long length of tassels because most of the times the designs I post have uh, either small or medium length. And that is the reason I, I came up with uh, something uh, with longer length for people who like long tassels. So the way we do this is also interesting. Uh, first of all, uh, you will have to uh, do zigzag to the uh, pallu edge. Uh, this is a mandatory step and then you will need some 4mm sized beads 4mm uh, or if you wish you can also use slightly bigger bead and then I have 120 strands of silk thread prepared uh, the glue has already dried and I have already ironed it the right side of the sari is facing on the top uh, because we want the pearls to be seen on the right side and the distance I am maintaining is one finger distance that's my index finger and then using a crochet hook uh, making a hole into the pallu and then we will have to tie uh, the tassel that's the first step tying the tassel is exactly the same way the only uh, the new thing here is uh, we are leaving it lengthy almost uh, size of our index finger uh, this is uh, one thing that you'll have to keep in mind so, um, and another interesting part is you can use the same technique and uh, try with a short length as well there is no uh, rule that uh, this has to be done in the longer length uh, using two strands of sari I'm tying it all up tight and neat uh, I'm using two strands of sari in my uh, regular hemming needle and I have knotted it two to three times like this so that's our first step and then we will pass it under the zari like this so that uh, the zari neatly blends and then uh, we will start inserting our beads into this zari I have taken pearls but you can always replace it with anything of your choice uh, in case if you want to use bigger beads then uh, the thickness of the tassel also has to increase otherwise uh, it won't look proportionate so accordingly you will have to decide so I've taken my first set of five beads uh, in total I am using 10 beads for one tassel uh, you can use gold uh, beads antique beads crystals glass beads pearls anything uh, which you feel complements your sari so in total 10 beads but again this can change uh, depending on uh, how you like it to be so take all 10 beads together like this into the zari now comes the uh, interesting part leave the last bead and then we will uh, pass the needle through all the beads but before doing that just so that uh, this long thread does not come in our way I'm just going to trim it and uh, keep it away otherwise it's a kind of uh, tends to come in the way so and make sure when you're trimming it do not trim it to the length of the previous one try to leave it a little longer half a centimeter longer now leaving the tenth bead behind I'm going to pass the needle in all the beads back like this and uh, to work this design you will have to take a long piece of zari uh, because we will be also needing the length of uh, zari to tie it so if you are taking a smaller length then the length of the zari might not be enough to finish uh, the next step as well so to avoid that make sure to take a long piece of zari and neatly pass the needle through all the beads and make sure not to pull it too tight you will have to leave some gap in the zari so that the beads spread evenly the, the zari there is enough space even after we wrap it that's the next step now hold all the threads together neatly with your finger and make sure there is some loose thread visible push the first pearl like this towards the top and then bring the needle below the pearl bring it very close to the pearl and now we will start 
wrapping it make sure not to pull it too tight in case you have pulled it too tight make sure to release some zari like this otherwise uh, as we start our wrapping below the zari the zari might get too tight and there are chances the zari might just break so holding the threads and the bead like this we will wrap two times very tightly and while we are doing this wrapping we'll also have to make sure all the threads are neatly arranged and there is nothing uh, uh, loose or there's nothing uneven so every time we will push one uh, pearl on top and then we will wrap it push the pearl on top and then we will wrap it two times and while you're doing this you will definitely need lot of patience because there are chances the threads might slip off the bead might slip off or the zari itself might slip off so please make sure you do it very patiently and uh, i'm sure when you're trying it for the first time uh, you might end up in a mess just like how i did because i was trying this design for the first time uh, the, and eventually you will kind of get used to how to handle the zari and uh, the long bunch of silk thread so this is the fun part and it's it's very easy looks tricky but it's extremely easy uh, just keep wrapping it two times uh, after every bead now this is the reason why i asked you to leave a, a little bit of a zari before pulling it too tight so eventually we will reach the end which is the ninth bead and once we reach the ninth bead we will knot it and trim it so that's how easily you can do this design uh, do let me know what you think about uh, this new try of mine uh, i don't think anybody has uh, tried something like this on youtube so uh, i will definitely look forward for your honest comments and uh, review so we have almost reached the ninth bead uh, i'll wrap it two times and then i will knot it like this like passing the needle in the loop like wrap the thread around the needle and then pull it tight and then we will pass the needle through the zari again like this so that there is no fear of it coming out and then we will trim it refer to the previous uh, length of the tassel and then you can trim it uh, this design will definitely look good even if you try for medium length uh, tassel so do give it a try and uh, let me know in the comment section how it turned out uh, in case you like this video uh, give us a thumbs up and uh, people watching the video without subscribing to the channel please subscribe uh, this can also be worked on uh, you know bridal uh, uh, designs because it gives that rich and uh, very uh, classy look so i think uh, that's all in today's video i shall look forward for your comments uh, i shall also see you guys soon until then take care bye bye